introduce the fella Who I'm under one umbrella Called the Western Man, I'll tell ya He's something you should see Break on down, he'll build Another next time round He'll take it further In the end, he'll call you brother In his own democracy Sarnati Market Club uh, board. It consists of uh, day one was, was a hands-on testing day, which uh, was a physical fitness test, rifle marksmanship, uh, military stakes, uh, land navigation. Uh, day two was a uh, formal board portion uh, where, where you go in front of a panel of sergeant majors and first sergeants that are uh, Sarnati Audie Murphy Club members. And um, it's a prestigious club uh, to recognize non-commissioned officers. Uh, that, that are top 10% of, of uh, the non-commissioned officers of the United States Army. It's more than just about being a good leader. What can you do for your soldiers on and off the battlefield? By being put in just basically situations. It's not always about having the answer on the, on, on the spot, but being able to work your way through a situation and know where to go to find the answer. I started, I went back in, 2003 at Fort Hood, where the Audie Murphy Club was first established in 1986. And it basically, I was inspired by one of my first sergeants, First Sergeant Brown, which is, of course, the Sergeant Major now. And looking at the NCOs and the battery that he had, it separated the, the good NCOs from the great NCOs. It's basically like an inspiration tool to set you apart from your peers, not only by leadership, but your ability to help and train soldiers. Uh, the United States Army has a, uh, probably the strongest non-commissioned officer corps uh, in the world, and, and a lot of it, if you ask me, is, is, is the trust of the commission officers in the non-commissioned officers. I work for uh, Colonel Jones, the 06 here, 3rd Brigade, and he trusts me to accomplish uh, certain tasks, individual skills, up till squad live fires, and he will trust me with any mission he gives me. And uh, we're trying to develop the Iraqi security forces, so uh, they, uh, their non-commissioned officer corps is trusted by their officer corps, and they're proficient and trained uh, to go out and accomplish uh, missions. And I'm all on my own, with no way I love to go. In the past, my experience in Iraq is there was never an Iraqi patrol. Uh, all Iraqi patrols were officer-led. And now we're starting to see non-commissioned officer-led patrols and non-commissioned officer-led checkpoints out there. And, and, and that's, a, that's a win for, for me as a senior NCO that, that the Iraqi security forces and the Iraqi NCO Corps is capable of going out and planning and conducting operations. And, and, and they're given the trust by their officer leadership. 